Hello everyone, I'm Gertie, or you can call me Morticia. So this month we're doing 13 fabulous days of spooky content. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a neckline variation that turns the Morticia gown into a Lily Munster gown. Just takes a little bit of lace trim. And I also added this cool rope tassel feature and I will send you a link to where I got it. But for now, I'm gonna show you how I added the trim to the neckline. Okay, I'm gonna start placing my trim, but first let me tell you that I did everything the same for this Lily version that I did for the Morticia version, and you can find those directions on the Charm Patterns blog. But I cut it in this lovely lavender neoprene to give it more of a Lily feel. And now I have three yards of this beautiful Venice crochet lace trim, and we have a raw, neckline here, no facings, right? This is easy Halloween sewing. We are going to start roughly around center back. And I say roughly because we wanna see what's gonna happen when we get to center front. It's good if you have some central motif at center front. So I like having this small rosette at center front. So I'm just gonna kind of place that there. Now we can go back to center back. And you want to take the trim and just kind of slap it on. That's the technical term here. Slap it on, making sure that it's kind of halfway covering that edge. Now, the thing about lace trim is that it comes in all sorts of different widths and varieties, and it doesn't really matter what the width is, as long as you can center it over your edge here and you're happy with the way it looks. So experiment. Try a few different things. And now instead of doing a V and going back around the other way, which is what I did for the Morticia gown, I am going to copy a gown that Lily wears in one of my favorite episodes of The Munsters. You know, you think of Lily wearing the same gown in every episode, but she doesn't. She has one where her lace continues under the bust like this. So it's going to cross, go underneath the bust like so, and just keep applying pins here. It's gonna go around the back like this. And it's gonna do a little cross your heart kind of number here and continue up the other side. Now I wanna make sure that it looks nice and even. So definitely, I would say get it kind of pinned in place first and then you can play around with the exact placement under the bust. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of roughly sketch this out and then I can obsess as much as I want to. ending by overlapping at center back. So let's just take a look here, make sure that we are happy with our center front placement. And once you are, all you need to do is top stitch your lace onto the dress and I would just stitch kind of roughly down the center of your lace. And again, quick and easy Halloween sewing. You don't need to tack down any of these edges unless you really want to, but let's pretend you're wearing this to a party tonight. You wanna to get it done, right? So we're just gonna stitch roughly down the center of the lace, attaching it to the neckline. Well, there you have it. Here is your sewn on lace. So fast, so easy. Just a great little tip to turn your Morticia gown into a Lily gown. 
So I hope you've loved this little Halloween tip and don't forget to come back tomorrow for our next bit of spooky content. See you then, if you dare. Goodbye. Thank you.